Mr. President, I would like to thank you for being on this program. You probably don't realize it, but in the three years that we have run this program, you have been our most distinguished guest each year, and thank we're you. very grateful to you. Well, we're glad to have you at the uh, White House again, Ms. Roosevelt. Thank you, Mr. President. Now, I would like to ask you, because I have always been interested in women's affairs, and I was very much honored when you made me chairman of your new committee on the status of women, Perhaps you'd be willing to tell the people what prompted you to name this committee at this time and what you feel is the real need for it. Well, we are attempting to uh, make sure that the women, for example, who work, uh, one third of our working force are women. We want to uh, try to encourage uh, every company in the United States and certainly uh, stimulate uh, governmental leadership in providing equal pay and equal conditions for women. 22 states do it now. We can do a much better job on that. We want to make sure that the available talent which we have in this country uh, in trained women is being used effectively. I think we want to uh, make sure that uh, some recognition is given to the special problems women have as the mother and the housewife, and at the same time, uh, their desires to participate usefully in public and private life. This is a matter of great national concern, and I think that in this uh, great society of ours, we want to be sure that we, that women are used as effectively as they can to provide a better life for our, our people, in addition to meeting their primary responsibility, which is in the home.